If you think about how much you spend on Starbucks every single month, you could probably buy this if you just stop going to Starbucks for one or two months. <laughs>it is your boy the jared nelson and today we are going to be reviewing this beautiful majestic machine the ninja dual brew coffee maker now if you know anything about me i love my morning coffee i actually love evening coffee i drink coffee throughout the day and this machine right here go ahead and spoil it for you i'm going to be reviewing this thing and giving you my honest opinion my opinion of this machine is a pretty good one. I've been using this for about a month or two, and I'm gonna give you the facts, the specs of this, and tell you my opinion on why this may be the best coffee maker, may even beat out the Keurig coffee makers that are on the market comparable to this machine. Before that, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and comment down below anything that you wanna respond about this video if you find something interesting or you have another question. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton. It's gonna to help my channel grow. It's gonna help me out a lot. All right, let's get right into it. So starting out looking at the coffee maker directly, you have a sleek, elegant black chrome mixture look. Really love the look that they did here. On the front, you have a digital pad here. You can press some buttons. Most of these are digital, turns on the machine itself, as well as to press the button to specifically start the coffee making process. Very good, we'll get into that in a second. But if you look on the side of the machine, you have a frother arm, which is hidden on the side. Beautiful little thing, you can froth milk or anything that you need to froth to make a froth for the top of the coffee. Very elegant and sleek. Also on the side, you have a teaspoon and a tablespoon handle if you need to make a teaspoon or a tablespoon take a scoop of coffee or anything to put inside the maker it's right here on the side and it attaches right back to the side whenever you're done with it really love what they did with that and on the other side you have the water container now it can reach the full capacity here at 60 ounces not sure if you can see that but 60 ounces of water goes on the side and you can actually move this to the back of the coffee maker if you need more space I know a lot of people like the counter space you can put it on the back of the machine instead of having it on the side it's going to give you a lot more space for your countertop but yes 60 ounces to hold all this fluid in the coffee maker very good size and really you can make up to a pot of coffee which is pretty amazing now in the front of the coffee maker here we have the carafe which you can use to make a pot or a half a pot actually you can set this on the dial to do that also you can take this off and beautifully enough you can set a cup of coffee right here and use a k-cup to make just a cup of coffee instead of making a whole entire pot so to use a k-cup all you have to do is open the top of this machine right here the k-cup fits right in there just like a keurig machine you close it you set the pot there press the button and you're ready to go but if you want to make a pot of coffee all you do is slide this back here and pull this up and this is the K-cup attachment here. I already used that little water from in there. But the top of the machine will open. You can put your coffee filter in the top of the machine, put your coffee in there, close it, and now you've got a carafe making coffee machine. So really, as you can see, there are a lot of options to make coffee. You can use a K-cup, you can use the carafe and make half a pot or a whole pot of coffee. Or you can just use a cup, use a K-cup, and make a small cup of coffee if that's what you enjoy. But really, this machine is amazing. You can do everything that you need to do. I think it competes with Keurig in this standpoint because it can do a lot more things. A lot of Keurigs, they don't make a whole pot of coffee. I like the design, the elegant look of the coffee maker itself, and it really beats Keurig in my opinion. So on the digital pad itself, we're going to run through some of the mechanics in the machine itself and run through how to make a cup of coffee. So you have this button in the center. That's how you start the brew. You just press that button and it starts the coffee but you have multiple ounce uh, selections six eight nine eleven and there are also different settings that you can choose there's classic and rich for a more concentrated coffee as well as over ice and finally a specialty size coffee but yes with all these there's obviously different sizes different ounce settings and you just turn this knob here go to the different ounces you press the button and instantly you can start making your specialty coffee but if you want to make a pot of coffee you unlock this right here I'll take this off like I showed you before close the top and instantly we're ready for a pot of coffee you can choose the size of this 37 28 the size of coffee as well as classic rich over ice and your specialty coffee you can still make that on this setting but this is where you're going to put the coffee grounds in the top all you do is slide this open insert your filter and coffee grounds in the top there very easy and then once you make this you set what size you want 
Very easy, very quick, and you can make a pot of coffee change from the K-cup to a pot in just a few seconds. And one of my favorite design points of this whole entire thing is there is a open and a closed option. You know you want that first sip of coffee, but you're not ready for the pot to be completely done. So you flip it closed, usually there's open, you flip it closed, and the coffee is going to hold inside the container. You can get your pot, you can get your cup, go ahead and take a sip put it back, open it back up, and the rest of that coffee is gonna be draining inside the cup. Also, if I didn't mention before, obviously it's super easy to put down the cup of coffee if you just wanna make a cup of coffee. All you do is slide that down, it opens, it clicks back in just like that. You can change from a cup to a pot of coffee. But overall, seriously, I've used a Keurig for a long time and I got this coffee machine recently, and seriously, the quality and the speed, the efficacy of this coffee machine really beats the Keurig in my opinion. This coffee machine with the frother and everything that's included really averages around $199. Now, I know that's kind of steep, but if you think about how much you spend on Starbucks every single month, you could probably buy this if you just stop going to Starbucks for one or two months. But really, to me, $199 is really not that steep. I think it's very affordable for what you're going to get, the quality of this machine. And it seems like the longevity and the quality of this, the way that it's built, is going to last you a very long time. But like I've said, I have used a Keurig for a long time. I've used this for about a month or two, and I'm very impressed with Ninja. Always use their blenders and a lot of different items that they have, a lot of kitchen appliances. But this coffee maker and this coffee machine has really impressed me. I'm gonna be using it for a very long time and I'm very impressed with the overall durability and the quality of this machine. If you're in the market for a coffee maker or a coffee machine, I would really consider this one. This is a great machine that you should get. And uh, if you love coffee, great machine. I don't think you can go wrong with the Ninja brand and this Dual Pro coffee system. Thank you so much for liking this video. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.